Greetings and salutations, ladies of I am Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. Sorry, I messed up there. Okay. However, this video is about and towards a woman by the name of, and you should know, Paul. Come on, say it with me. Paul. Uh, Dean. Okay. And her certain word. Now, am I here to lay on guilt? No, not really. Okay. Am I supporting Paula? Take two seconds, look at me, look at my face, yeah, eyes off from the keyboard, I know, yeah, I know, some people say, can you be typing away down there and saying whatever they want, but it says, nothing, uh -uh. watch the whole video first before you judge, however, I have seen this whole polity thing go through a lot of nonsensical silliness based on the fact she said the word. Now, we don't know when she said the word, why she said the word, right, other than she's been, she uses it often. And funny thing is, I believe she uses it often. I also believe that she may say it once or twice at work, which is still not appropriate. Okay, I'm just saying that now. The N word has never been, ever will be, and should never, ever, ever, under any circumstance, be used at all. I understand that it was used a long time ago. I get that we well, lived in the South. Yeah, that dirty Alabama South. That was just a common thing. Hey. Yeah. Well, let's just put it this way. I happen to know people from the South. And they don't talk that way. Okay? Okay. That's just like... I happen to know black people who don't use the n-word. Okay? And don't even agree with rap music using the n-word. Okay? Another thing, I've, and I have a lot of links down below about her use. I even looked at Slate.com about how she said it. When, why she said it, I believe Slate, and I will look at it, they show two videos of her making an apology, they turns out she couldn't come to the Today Show, which, okay, Paula, that's like the first, first thing she should have done, regardless of what happens, I don't care if the house burned down, I don't care. <laughs> If you have a doctor's appointment scheduled for that particular day, you go and you give the public apology, okay? You don't, I don't care, I mean, I do care that she said it. I do care that she said it, but I would have been more forgiving of it. If she had said, on national television, you know, I tend to think the news is whatever. They could have just taken a big old stick and said, yeah, you get out there. You get out there. You make an apology. Hey. And that would have done nothing at all. Okay? But it would have been nice. Just like a certain... <clears throat> person who's the head of, uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> bitch, should be 
can't get a public apology. But nonetheless, I don't think it'll happen. <laughs> However, it's still it was still wrong to say it. I don't agree with her saying it. But there's some issues I have with the whole story. Personally, I want to know, does she say it all the time at work? Because then I think, why didn't anyone say anything about this before? I mean, yeah, so what? You could have said, so what? I might have lost my job, but enough is enough, folks. The N-word it, it, is come past the time. The time has passed for that word to be appropriate, regardless. Um, and other things that kind of disturb me about the issue, and I heard this from the Young Turks, and I've heard other people make mention of it, probably. First of all, I don't think you should be having a party where you have the black men at this place. I'm sorry, but unless you're gonna have the white workers as well at this slaves, no. And they did make complaints, I just think make complaints to the police. I don't know if you can, I think there should be if that's not the case. Because the kind of behavior that was going on back there, as far as I understand it, was probably not appropriate. And you could have gotten off and told this person, hey, <laughs> quitting, not having any more of this nonsense, bye. Or, <sighs> the, the funny thing, because I don't agree with the N-word, I don't think the treatment was fair, but at the same time, we either need to start instituting more places and ability for someone to speak up against their workers and against their job, I mean their bosses, regardless of what issue, and saying something against that, <laughs> or, or, because that's the biggest thing that stood out to me. Not just as a black person, but it's like, I, I'm sorry, but you just don't ask people to do that. And, I, and there are other, yeah, there are other reasons to why I don't agree with this. Another reason, or how to put it, I think she should be taken off the Food Network. Yes. Do I think they should stop selling the brand? See, the thing is, I don't watch the show, eat the cooking, or have anything to do with Paula, really. But if it wasn't for Jack and Ron and their morning show making all those horrible jokes about how she cooks everything with butter and fat, I'm telling you right now, I don't care how hungry I am. I will die first before I eat anything she cooks in that kitchen. The way that they advertised it. Okay? Okay. Anyways. That is my standpoint of it. I just find it's maybe it's just me, but what's the extent of how much we can punish someone in this country? I don't think you should ever say the n-word to anybody. I have been around people who have said it, however, of course they were saying it out of, you know, the friendship, you know, I've, I've heard of the friendship thing, and it wasn't like they were black or anything, but it's still kind of like, well, I think there's a level of how much you will allow someone to discuss, talk, whatever, to you, 
You know, that's within reason. Okay, that's within reason. I don't condone the N-word. I don't think you should ever say the N-word. Do not go out and say it. And I do agree. But I don't think freedom of speech really should be dried in the mud like this either. Okay? You can have freedom of speech. Everyone has the right to freedom of speech. However, I believe there's a good saying that I like very much is that it's by it's about sorry that man may have freedom of speech but the funny thing is he needs freedom of thought you know just cause your great granddaddy said the n-word does not mean under any circumstance that you should be saying Okay. Done. Okay. Anyways, I think I beat that in the ground enough. Anyways, uh, this is Evelina Mellon. Over there.